let me show you how easy it is to create a pop-up form in WordPress. So follow me to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is John Form. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pop-up form that we're going to use on WordPress. Now for this, we're going to use JotForm and luckily there's thousands of templates that we could start using right now and just customize it to however we need it for our own needs, okay? So we can select any of these templates. We can go ahead and choose the preview. We can go ahead and test it out and find out if it's the right fit for us. Now, there's some of the questions that are pre-built, some of the colors, the styles, and all that. And the good thing about templates is that we can use these and customize every single aspect of that template. Now, for this one, I am going to use this template, which is a pop-up contact form. And we'll be leaving the link in the description in case you also want to use this one. So let's go ahead and use this template, and we are going to customize it before we add it to WordPress, okay? Now, in this case, you can see it's a step form. That means that each one of these questions will be displayed one by one and not in one single format. Now, if you want to change that aspect, you can go into the form designer, you go to layout and change it to classic form in case you want to display every single question in one section. Okay. Now, what can we do here? Well, we can modify every single aspect of the form that we've just brought in. We can also bring in new elements and do a whole lot with it. Okay. So let's just say that we want to customize here. This is the business phone. I can go into properties and I can customize this specific element with the properties on the right. Okay. So I got the general properties by field label descriptions and a whole lot of options available to make it required. You can have options for country code, for example, for this specific element input it mask and the advanced options. There's also more elements on the left. We got all the basic elements available here. So in case I want to bring in, for example, an appointment, I can go ahead and bring it inside of here and we have an appointment system. And on the right, we have the settings for this particular element right here. Okay. Now there's several type of elements available here that we can start using right away. You got your basic elements, you got your survey elements and do a whole lot more. We can also sell products. We can ask for donations with a payment gateway. So all these payment gateways are available by just dragging it in and going through the setup process. That's super easy for each one of these payment gateways. Then there's also additional widgets that'll customize your form even further. Okay. Now, once you're good to go, you add the elements that you need for your pop-up form. You have your form designer here where we can change aspects like the colors. For example, if your branding is different, we can use these template colors that are available or we can do a custom color. So we can change every single color with these options. Okay. We can also add an image to the background. We can do video. We can change the layout and every single aspect is customizable. Once you're good to go, the form is how you like it. We can go ahead and preview this form to make sure that everything is correct. So let's just say that we added the elements, we changed the colors to our form and we're good to go. Well, we're going to go into publish and in publish, we're going to go to the embed option An embed option. There's an option that says light box. This is what we're going to use. Okay. So let's go ahead and select this. And this is the code that we are going to use. Now by default, this is how it's going to preview. So let's click on preview. Here it is. It's a button that we click on it and it opens up the pop up. Now that's via a click. Okay. Now there's also other options to change. We can go ahead and customize that here. Let's go ahead and embed this one first to test it out and then we'll go ahead and customize it. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy this code. Let's go into our WordPress site where we're going to add this pop up. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to go into the front page, which is this one. You can see here it is. Let's go into the builder. Let's go into our pages and in pages, we're going to find the home page. Here it is. And I'm going to edit this one with Brizzy. I'll also show you how to do this with Gutenberg. Okay. Now in this case, here's the builder. I am going to add an element here on Brizzy. So I'm going to click on the plus button where I find the elements. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find short code. So I am going to add this short code here just for testing purposes, but you can add it in every section, any section that you want on the website. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and click on it. Let's click on this WordPress icon. Let's add our code right here. Remember, this is the code that we just grabbed over there on WordPress. This is the code that we just grabbed over there. This is the code that we just grabbed over there on job form. Okay. So here we go. We have a button right here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. So it doesn't look weird. And let's go ahead and update this and preview it just so you see how it's going to pop up. Okay. Here we go. It just updated. Let's go ahead and preview this. And here we go. We got our button right here. It says pop up contact form, but obviously we can change that to just say contact 
or subscribe or something like that, okay? Let's click on it. And here we go. We now have the pop-up form right here. Now I'm, I'm able to view this pencil because I am logged in, but you won't be able to view that for the end user. So I can go ahead and go through the form right here really easily. And it's just super easy and practical to add your pop-up form here, okay? Now, let's go ahead and customize this pop-up form, okay? So it's going to customize. Now you saw that that pop-up form had a top bar, which might not be ideal, or maybe you do want to keep it, but you want to change the color. So you got your background color here, and you can go ahead and change it to your branding's color. Here it is. Let's go ahead and preview it really quickly. There we go. You can see the button color and this changed. So that's just to show you a test right there. Or maybe you don't want to display any bar. Let's go ahead and click on the middle one. Let's preview this. And here we go. It even has the rounded off corners, which I think looks better, but it's up to you what you want to use. And the third one is this one with the black box around it. So let's see the pop up and we got that block, black box there, right? So I'll choose the middle one because that's the one I like. And for the title, I'll say contact and I can change the dimensions for this. I'll leave it as is, but we can change it if we want, okay? Then we have our title bar color and the text color that we can change right here. Or we can go ahead and open up on page load, which might be ideal or not, depending on your use case. But in this case, let's go ahead and test it out first without the open on page load. So let's save it. Let's copy our code. Let's go back into the form builder. Where we added this code, let's go ahead and replace this. There we go. Let's add our code now. Okay, we should be good to go. Let's just verify that everything's okay. There we go. Okay, everything's fine. Let's update this. Let's go ahead and preview this. All right, and let's click on our pop-up contact form. And here it is. We don't have that top bar anymore. It changed now, all right? So it's up to you if that's the one you want to use, all right? Now, let's go ahead and do the pop-up by default. So let's go ahead and customize. Let's open on page load. So let's save changes. Let's copy this code and let's go ahead and replace the code again. Let's grab the code. Here we go. Let's remove that previous code that we just used and let's add the code there. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and update this. Here we go. It's now updated. There's no button anymore. Let's go ahead and preview this and boom, it automatically popped up just instantly. All right. So there's also ways that you can customize this to delay the pop up if that's what you want. And we'll leave a link for that in the description so you can see how that is possible, right? Now, let's go ahead and close this out. You can see that there's no button anymore. It just pops up automatically. Now, you have the option to add this code anywhere on the page. It's not going to matter since there is no physical button if you use the auto pop-up, right? Now, in this case, let's go ahead and test that out again because I want to fill it out so you can find the submissions on JotForm, okay? So let's fill this out really quickly. Give me a few seconds. Here we go. Let's go ahead and submit this. And it's now been submitted here. Let's head on out of here. And the pop-up is gone. So where do we find our submissions in job form? Well, it's going to be super easy to find. Let's go into our builder right here. And there's several ways that you can find your job form submissions. They'll be located in job form tables. If you're in the builder, I recommend that you click on the top menu right here and go to tables. Now, if you go to tables, we'll, we'll be able to find every single submission available right here. In this case, it's only been submitted once, but you'll find every single submission available right here. Now, you can do a lot of customizations here on job form tables by editing every single aspect of this. You have options to remove sections, rows, etc. You can add more options here, like add buttons, short text, formulas, buttons, and connections. You can also create other type of views by selecting a new tab. You can also create a separate table with a reduced amount of rows or sections by selecting this. You can also create a calendar, cards, uploads, and reports, all based on the data that's been submitted right here. So it's really easy and practical to view your form submissions. Now, if you are on the main dashboard, where are you going to find your submissions? Well, it's going to be super easy. Right now, we've just created this one, and this is the submission that we want to view. So let's click on the More button right here, and we're going to go into Submissions. And submissions is going to take you directly to job form tables and we'll be able to view every single form submission right here. So it's super easy and practical to add your pop-up forms on WordPress. See how easy that was? Well, you could do it too by following these same steps. We thank you all for watching. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration with JotForm and WordPress to create these pop-up forms and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.